Welcome to another dumb show. I'm another dumb show host. Thank you guys for joining me on issue number whatever. I don't think I named it tonight. Um, hold on, I just cut out and now I can't hear myself. I can't what hear did I just either. do to myself here? Can you hear me? I can't hear you at all. You can't I can hear, hear myself. What did I just do to myself here? Check one, two. Check one, two. Batteries? Uh, Mike's going out. Hold on, check one, two. Why can't you hear me, Mikey? How about now? There we go. There we go. Okay. I got a little weird echo. I'm not really sure if that's just me picking up on your mic, but uh, we are here. Welcome. Welcome to another dumb show, folks. I am another dumb show host. Man, that is weird. What am I hearing? It's got to be coming through my own mic. Talk nice and loud, Mike. I can talk nice and loud. I don't know I what that is. I almost myself twice when I talk loud. I don't know if it's my mic too loud. Let's try this. Hold on. Oh, that might have been what it was. All right, guys. I'm, uh, no, there's something I'm echoing right now. All right. How about now? I can't hear you at all. Now you can't hear me at all? Nope. Why can't you hear me? Hi, guys. Oh, Welcome. There you go. Now you can? Now you can. Word, that is so strange. I don't know why that is happening right now. We should be able to hear ourselves. I can hear me. That. I can hear you. It's very strange. Anyway, uh, Mikey's here. It's a little bit weird sounding. I don't know if it's double upping, doubling up, going out to you guys, but it's a little bit... Sim- I'm hearing an echo, so I'm going to be speech zapping myself. I was just thinking we're getting speech zapped. Uh, are you getting speech zapped? If I talk quiet, I think it's all right. But if I start talking louder, then I can for sure hear myself in a little bit of an echo. Yeah, I'm not really sure why that's happening. Let me try to turn off my mic. <coughs> one, two, three. Check, check. One, two, three. I feel like I'm still getting a little echo. I don't know what's going on with my system right now. Anyway, we're getting a weird echo. Uh, I apologize. Either way, let's try to work our way through it. As best that we can. Does the chat hear it? Uh, I don't think the chat. Hi, chat. I don't think the, they're 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 saying that you're busy getting gang raped. So, I tell you what. Me? How about this, Mikey? We're um we're sitting right next to each other. I don't think we're really going to be playing any videos at this point. So I think we could probably just get away with doing this. Oh, um, fine. what do you think? Is that better? Yeah, I think that, that fixes everything on my end. I think so. Um. Not used to having two people here in the studio, so I apologize for the uh, technical issues, but we are here. Uh, Irish Ronnie says it just sounds low to me, so let's bring up Mikey. Mine is here. Mine might be a little bit low because I did some sensitivity. Somebody says they can't hear me. Check one, two. Check one, two. That should have fixed the problem. I tried to turn down the sensitivity on my wireless mic here because I thought that might have been the problem, Um, but we should be... Mikey, is your mic on? Did you flip that switch back on? Yes, I did. Okay, I cool. Can, I believe so. I can hear myself a little bit in my headphones, so it's perfect. All right, let me boost you a little bit, and we should be good to go. I'm looking at the levels. We should be good to go now. So, welcome. Hello. 844-HIT-DUMB, 844-448-3862. That is the number to call into the show if you'd like to call uh, and talk to Mikey. He is here in studio. Uh, he's obviously, normally, he's in another city, uh, but he's actually here with me. He's on my couch. They're calling it the casting couch in the chat right oh, now <laughs> so um mikey uh and i are mikey's in town because we are going to see ari shafir at uh pickwick and frolic at hilarities uh the comic ari shafir i'm looking forward to going to seeing him he's um he's known for his um 
I don't know. What would you say? He's a bit... infamous tweets and his yeah, he's... insensitivity. Yeah, insensitivity, I mean... infamous tweets. In fact, I think I have one of his infamous tweets here. Is this the is this the one I think it is? The one that canceled him? Probably. Um, this is the one that everybody knows. Uh, this and is then the... Rogan put him on three weeks after he got canceled, and, <laughs> and he blew right back up again. Yeah, um, that's why his last special, The Jew, hit hit over a million views. I think in the first week, it, it was it was one of the highest rated specials of twenty twenty three. Here it is. This is the one that got him and uh, canceled or whatever. Kobe Kobe Bryant died twenty three years too late today. He got away with rape because all the Hollywood liberals who attack comedy enjoy rooting for the Lakers more than they dislike rape. Big ups to the hero who forgot to gas up his chopper. I hate the Lakers. What a great day. Hashtag fuck the Lakers. So, uh, made a lot of friends in the NBA community there. Uh, oh, got himself yeah. canceled. Uh, because well, it's, And I always wondered the same thing about Kobe. I never really understood why everybody is um, <coughs> um, so pro-Kobe. I mean, he was, uh, from what I had always thought, he was a... Uh, he was a he's a rapist. That's what I always I thought him, he was I too. I knew him as the rapist, and I knew him as everyone saying he was an asshole. And I kind of he went that one time in the uh, Olympics when he ran through Paul Gasol's chest when they were teammates. That well, was, even, was, I don't remember like, that at all. Oh, dude, that like really pissed me off because he was like, "I know he's my brother, but I'm going to set the tone on the first play of the game." And he just ran straight through him and stepped over. Him. Oh, because they were on. Di- Paul Gasol was, was playing, playing for, for Greece or Spain or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Then I was a little confused because I was like, "Weren't they on the same team?" Okay, That's what in I'm the saying. Olympics, and they were like thick as thieves when they were on the Lakers. And then I, I just didn't like him. Yeah. Well, it'll be a good show tonight. Ari known for his offensive, quote, offensive comedy. To uh, I read his, oh, the little blurb about him at Pickwick and Frolic was pretty good. Um, I, don't, I don't even think I read it. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, did they close it? Is it gone now? Uh, here, I want to read. I'm so glad that he decided to come back for the second little round because his first two shows, or his first four shows in Cleveland, that because he, he was just here two days ago. And he had a little two-day run, four shows, and he sold out so quick, he decided after Cincinnati to come right back and hit for another two tonight. Oh, wow, that's good. So uh, he's primed and ready, and he's going to be putting on a good show. Oh, oh, dude, like I said, he films his next hour special in Washington, D.C. next month. So this is like his warm-up. Is that a YouTube special or a Netflix special? It's going to come out on YouTube again. YouTube? Yeah. Okay. That's where almost all of them. I don't think, I don't think Netflix will ever have him back. Netflix isn't ready for him yet, no. Uh, no. That's, well, here's what they wrote about him. It's a quote, the deal is, this is a dirty show. It's not completely offensive, but definitely some parts are offensive. So don't bring that one friend in your friend group who makes that tisk noise a lot. Just tell them you're doing something else or your grandmother died or your grandmother killed somebody and you got to be a character witness, whatever. Just don't bring them. But everybody else for sure come. Ari puts on a hilarious show every year of all new material, and he brings amazing openers. So it's just a really funny night of legit mainstream stand-up, and you're going to have a great time every time. So I like the description. It sounds good to me. I was trying to cross-reference and see if there was any of the Parks and Recs guys that are, or um, Protect Our Parks guys that were like close by or anything like that to think of maybe you'd bring one of them as an opener. Pop in, nobody. Yeah, nobody close. Damn. Who do you think? Do we have any idea who the opener is? No, I don't know who he's got with him right now. Okay. It might be Louis Katz. Um, looks kind of like Ari. Um, I don't think I know him. He- unless, no, he's a by name. guy. I just got introduced to him last week. He was on Dan Soder's podcast. Okay. All right. <laughs> that Dan Soder dude, his, I saw him on Kill Tony. His uh, Cat Williams impression impersonation was so funny. It was so quick and so fast. Dude, uh, his macho man is... The perfect macho man. You, better you than Taints look, Mashers? It's, dude, exponentially better. Oh, Taints is pretty good, too. Wow. I know Taints is really good, but yeah, no, his uh, his is unreal. Huh. Um, sorry, I just got distracted, uh, distracted by people um, saying, um, my daughter's in there saying she's offended by there's no there was no invite. Will you come back up? Come over after the show and we can burn down with Mikey. Apparently my daughter's turned into quite the smoker these days. So Perfect. Uh, she's a big stoner apparently. So um, Jack is saying, I finally found you dumb. Love you dumb in the show. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. It's good that we've been on a little break here. Um, my boys were on spring break over the last week and the computer was in the shop. Um, not much to tell what the computer went in came out they said uh nothing wrong with it looked like you 
kind of over, like, I guess they can go back and see what you've done with it. They said it got overloaded or whatever, too many things at once. So the computer's fine. Uh, so that's good news. Um, <coughs> hopefully I won't get another blue screen of death and we'll be fine. That would um, frustrate me so much if I brought my laptop in after it just took a shit. And they're like, no, everything's fine. Yeah, um, I'm actually okay with it. I, <laughs> well, because you don't got nothing to repair. Yeah, so yeah, yeah and it works. You're not, you're not having to put a grand into it or whatever. It works, and it seems to be okay. So, you know, and I, I don't know if they did something, because it, it seems a, a tad bit faster, but they said they didn't do anything, so I, I don't know. Anyway, um but it was a kind of a crazy week for me. Uh, I was supposed to be a nice, relaxing, chill week uh, with the boys here, which it kind of was because I, I wasn't door dashing, so I was just spending some time with them. But my dad ended up in the hospital. Oh, no. Papa Strutt's all right? Uh, Papa Strutz is uh, it's to be determined right now. He spent oh. almost the whole week in the hospital. He has uh, his hemoglobin levels. I guess they're normally supposed to be around like 15 or 16. And that's the hemoglobin is like part of your red blood cells yeah, or your something, brother. your bone marrow and all that. And he, uh, his was down to six. Ooh. And apparently. <laughs> is that like a sign that like his body and his red cells are like fighting something? No, everything's shutting off. You're not getting oh. enough oxygen to your brain at that oh, point. Shit, right. Yeah. So um, he started passing out. Uh, I guess he was in the shower and um, didn't wasn't able to finish his shower because he started passing out. So my uncle Jimmy died. Well, that's what I, it's. It gets worse. He says he barely made it out of the shower. He sat down on the toilet before he passed out. Or no, I'm sorry. He sat down on the toilet and then passed out. He came to walk from the toilet to his bedroom. Barely made it to his bed and flopped on his bed and passed out. Jesus. And then uh, my he got you know my mom he told my mom call you know or not call didn't want the ambulance but he told her just get the car right next to the garage door because they have like a garage that's like under their building that they go into and you go out through like a lower lower door that goes right at, right to the garage and so he said just pull the car up uh, and make sure the garage door is open. And I'm just going to basically barrel my way down and I'll pass out into the car seat. No. And this is what this dipshit does. He, my, my, my poor stepmom, you know, he's, there's no telling him no. This stubborn generation. My, my father's going to be the same way, dude. It was so stupid. It's so, and so he did. He stumbled his way through the house, down, down two flights of steps, holding the railing, you know, trying, yeah, trying to awake. stay awake. Um, and then he said he, like, when he hit the bottom step, he just kind of, like, rumbled his way out the door and just kind of flopped into the seat and passed out in the car. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so they took him to the hospital. He, um, it was in there, and they did, they, he's, now he's had this happen before, <clears throat> and they said it was, he had an ulcer bef the first time because he was taking too many ibuprofen or naprosins or whatever. Oh, okay. Aleve. Too many Aleve. Because uh, his, wrists, <laughs> his wrists were still broken from the motorcycle accident. They were still healing and they hurt. But he was just popping them and not eating food with them and he burned a hole in his stomach. stomach. Yeah. That started bleeding. His uh -huh. hemoglobin went down and they finally fixed that. This time they just assumed that was the same thing. So they started doing all those same tests. No ulcer. So they did the endoscopy, checked, no ulcer. So that was the first day. Or no, that was the second day. The first day was just all blood tests and everything, keeping him awake, IVs, blood. He had like bag after bag of blood, a bunch of blood transfusions to get his hemoglobin back up. <clears throat> and then he had to have uh, a colonoscopy uh -huh. the day after the endoscopy because there was nothing wrong with the top half. So they got to go poked, to check the bottom half. Poked and prodded. So he's, this is, I think, now day four, because I think they gave him a break in between. He gets the colonoscopy. They tell him that when they went in with the, for the colonoscopy, they couldn't get the camera all the way up there because I think they called it the duodenum or whatever. Some, some valve they had to get through was too small. <clears throat> and I laughed and I said, I always thought you were a bit of a tight ass. Because <laughs> they were like... They might have to go back in again with a pediatric camera because it's smaller to be able to get through wow. this tiny hole or whatever. So they checked him. There ended up being nothing wrong with him there. 
And so he was, they ended up discharging him and with his hemoglobin levels not back up to where they are, but um, I don't is know what like to medication do. he can take or stuff? They got meds or something? Or is it just something that's supposed to come back on its own? I actually don't know because the day that he got out, my son uh, broke his knee. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Shay, um, well, it actually wasn't that day. Uh, it was actually the, the, a week before he had, he hurt his knee in gym class. He was running to the right. He was playing quarterback. He was rolling to his right and he planted on his right foot to throw the ball. And when he planted, he said his knee just started hurting. And I was like, ah, you tweaked it. You're fine. You know, let's, we'll walk it off. You know, he, he plays rugby now. Uh, so he was on, he, he went to rugby practice and played through rugby practice. And I'm really was, I'll be honest with you. I was really nervous about him playing rugby because yeah. these kids, these kids hit. So we went to his first rugby and I game. Thought that, I thought he had a hard time hitting when he was playing football. But there's something about the no pads. I think he likes better. It's slower. Right. And it's, um, oh, man, some of the rugby hits I see on Instagram are some of the wildest hits I've ever seen. Well, I, we had, a, he had a game, the, so I'm sorry. So this was, a, this is over the past couple of weeks. So he had a, he hurt his knee in gym. He does a rugby practice after that. Then he has a rugby game. I said, when I got there, I said to myself, he's going to play for five minutes, take one huge hit, get hurt be and done. be out yep. and be down. He's going to get a wind knocked out of him. He's going to be down. Like it, it, it was scripted, Mikey. I couldn't have wrote it any more perfectly. <laughs> the kid goes in the game, he gets the ball, he runs it, he gets clobbered by some kid that's not even that yeah, big. Dude, he just yeah. got walloped. Yeah, dude. Real game speed and practice speed is so different, you know. And, and your yeah. friends never want to hit you in practice. That's, like, yeah, exactly. like when I was in practice, they, they would always say you don't hit hard enough. And and the only thing I could always say is like. I don't want to hit. I don't want to like, kill I you. Know, I'm I not a practice hero. People, but yeah. like on game day, I was a killer. Right. Absolute killer. Didn't matter who was in front of me. I played center for seven years of my life, all the way up through, you know, peewees oh, and everything like that. So dirty down in that center. Down I, there. Love, so, I love so it. Gritty. I can pull too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Uh-huh. Centers that can pull. That's a value. Um, so anyway, he gets obliterated. He's down on the field for almost five minutes. Um, long enough to where I was just about to stand up and walk up and go, go out onto the field because he'd been down long enough, like to where I was like, okay, I need to go check on my yeah, son. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, like, th- and he was, time to be down. Like, it, there were that five minutes had to feel like a half an hour. Oh yeah. There were athletic trainers from both teams. Uh, the kids were all wrapped around him down on one knee, oh, <laughs> all that shit. Like, and I'm like, oh my God. And then my son, my, my other son, Brady's just sitting there going, he's not moving. He's not moving. And I'm like, calm, shut up, calm <laughs> down. Not he goes, helping. He's like, and he goes, dad, he hasn't moved. He hasn't moved once. And I'm like, Brady, stop. Give me a minute here. All right. And so <laughs> um, then finally he got up um, and then he walked off and he, uh, <clears throat> and he limped off and he had a, uh, he had got the wind knocked out of him. And he had a, a concussion. I was about to say he had to have his belt. <laughs> he had a concussion. He said he couldn't. It was real dizzy. He could kind of hardly see straight. So he had his first official concussion, which is great. Um, Those were always the hits that I looked forward to the most in football season. Like that first one of the season. The bell ringer, yeah. Oklahoma, like, like that one first here we bell are. ringer. Like, okay, yep, turn the lights back on. In it, reality, it's turning the lights off. It's almost one of those things where you're like um, – it can't really get much worse after this. No, you get hit dude, that hard. That first yeah. one, you just drop your helmet and just run straight into a wall or straight into somebody and just get that big head out the way. Everything <laughs> after that is just fine. Well, I used to try to do that before the game. Me and this kid named Jack on my team, we, I don't know if you ever, I think it was the Vikings. The guys that would, they would do three, a bunch of headbutts and then they would go, Ugh, ugh, ugh. like they were all tired have you ever seen that old clip from way have, back it, when yeah dude it had to be from like the 70s with the purple people eaters it, i don't think i think no, it, it, it might have been like chris carter in someone uh almost like i might have been i 90s, can't remember late 90s vikings head butt nfl head butt celebration nfl head butt head roll 
Oh, uh, man, I don't remember. That's such an old, that was, it's so old. I mean, I was doing this in like 1995. So, I mean, I, I have no idea when it was, wait, who was doing it anyway. But before the game, me and this dude, Jack, we would bang our, we would headbutt each other as hard as we could. We'd grab each other by the, you know, you can grab the, the, your shoulder, or, or, I'm sorry, the shoulder pads by the chest plate. Yep. We would bang each other as hard as we could to try to ring our each that's, other's bells. That's that little sweet spot inside where you ain't going to get called for holding. As long as you dig your hands up into there and keep driving, you ain't getting called for holding. Absolutely. Grab them by the armpits. And then you just run them. You know, oh, straight into the, the ground. It's the best feeling. Lead when you... with the helmet, dude, a pancake like that. Absolutely. Oh, man, it's so good. It's such a great feeling. I wish I would have stayed big so I could have keep playing center. But dude, as soon as you get to high school ball, I couldn't be playing center at a buck 40. Yeah, I was fortunate. I was just a big fat ass. I could use my weight. Yeah, and I was, was fast on top of nine. that. So. I was I was a speedy kid, too. I was one of the fastest kids on the team. But they were like, what position do you want to play? I was like, offensive line or nothing. <laughs> why? That's, why? You that's should rare play cause... something else. I was like, I get to hit every fucking play. I went to football when I was in Pee Wee and went, and they said, uh, I, they said, what position do you want to play? And I said, wide receiver. And they said, enjoy playing tackle, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my whole yeah, life. I didn't want, I, when I used, nah, dude, I used to love watching the line when I was a kid. My father always used yeah. to talk about the line and the purple people eaters and everything like that. Yeah. And that's what I pay attention to when I'm watching football so it's really like the, the more dude, dude, it's just all contact well I, I left off with Shay so he got up off the field after he got his head rung and Did no surprisingly or like that no ambulance no no he walked off fine he was he toughed it out he was fine and then he went to go try to oh I forgot to mention he he one of this I guess in this rugby league they, there's there were probably 30 different teams there and they would do these rotating games to where everybody could play so they were like 45 minute games so every team got to play gotcha one of the teams was short a player so Shea actually volunteered to go play on this team that he doesn't play for and he was actually playing against St. Ignatius which is like they're the big huge they're one of the best football programs in the country really and their rugby team is really good as well so all these kids have been playing rugby for years yeah. and they just smashed Shay. so um he was tough he walked it off and then he went to go try to play with his team oh, afterwards tough kid. and the coaches yeah he is tough and the coaches wouldn't let him play um so but strangely on the way home i kept i said i'm like how you feeling how's your head how's your shoulder and you know everything from getting whacked and he was like well actually my knee is what still hurts so we, i was like well you probably since you tweaked it last friday it still hurts or whatever yeah uh, and he retweaked it playing so i said we'll just maybe take this week off resting you know just play video games this week blah blah blah, blah. then he was still complaining about it hurting and said, and he had mentioned it to his mom, and his mom said, do you want to just take him to the walk-in and get it looked at? And I said, yeah, I guess. I think he's being a pussy, but yeah. <laughs> um, so we took him in, and they give this kid an x-ray, and he broke his kneecap. He, uh, It's called an avulsion fracture. He actually, uh, the tendon ripped the bottom part of his kneecap off. Oh, oh. Isn't that crazy? But the tendon, no damage to the tendon. No, it pulled, so it didn't rip off, like, the whole tendon didn't rip off from his kneecap. Like, a portion of his tendon ripped off a portion of his kneecap. And that's it's, where he went to plant that foot. It had to be, that, that well, pressure right there and his body weight going and planting that, that foot. I looked it up, and it's like a common pediatric injury, I guess, because kids' muscles and tendons are developing at a faster rate than their bones okay so i don't know if their bones are still rubbery or soft or whatever but I, with the stronger muscles and tendons it basically just like ripped that piece of bone right off so gotcha. um so yeah he is uh now wearing a knee immobilizer he's got to keep his knee straight for i think six to eight weeks but Ooh. there's a chance he might have to have surgery so the, he's got to follow up in a couple weeks uh to see what they actually are going to do with him so it was the uh, best for him, man. I hope, he, I hope he doesn't have to have surgery. I sure. hope so too. I, 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 I really am more hoping because he loves baseball. So rugby's done, obviously. He's yeah. done with rugby for the rugby season. But baseball season's starting up. And he that's his favorite sport more than anything. Like he loves Lives baseball. baseball. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, so I remember saying that and we talked about it. Before. Yeah, so hopefully he will be able to get back in time to play baseball. But I ended up, um, I bought him MLB The Show 24. Because I felt Game bad heads. for him. Oh, you guys got PlayStation, though. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, I got it on PlayStation. But um, 
because I felt bad for him that he's going to be laid up. He can't do Dude, anything. He's so not allowed good, to do man. anything. Oh, they my God. It's so fa- much fun, I, you man. Know I use the face scan app and everything. You should see this Guinea-looking player <laughs> on there with the long hair and everything. I look like Kenny Powers. My face scan on um, NBA 2K24 looks like... That's free on Game Pass right I'll now. Be I'm going to download with... it and play against you. Oh, it's great. you got to get it. It's one of the best video games I've ever played. I love it. I get so I frustrated with basketball and the stick control. I'm so... Oh, it's all sticks. It's all sticks. I get so frustrated with you it. You can shoot with the buttons if you want to. My son does that, and I just... I don't know. It takes some of the fun out of it because you can do more kind of scoop layups and Dude, euro steps so and shit. it's so hard in baseball with the timing with some of the new ways the they pitching. got there. Yeah, I got to do just the old school pulse thing. That's oh, it. see, That's I like that. I... I like the. You can't do the power bar. I I'll see in the pitching. I do the pitching where you have to like if it's a slider, you got to go over, around, down, up. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, I love all the sticks then. Yeah, well, basketball is what got me good on the sticks. That basketball game completely. You're gonna kick ass in the boxing game when it comes out. I can't. Oh, there's a boxing game coming. Didn't we see that? Didn't we watch the trailer for that? It was like oh, it's Steam. Steam. Yeah, it was on the end. Steam. We're still waiting for a good boxing game on PlayStation or Xbox to come out. Dude, Xbox used to have the best one, dude. Uh, what was it? The, the uh, fight nights? Those were yeah. always the best. I love those. And that yeah. was a hundred percent sticks. Yeah. Like we would get into such knockdown drag out fights at my cousin's house playing that game where it would come down to a draw and we'd go outside with gloves and settle it. <laughs> two you know what I'm saying? That's awesome. Um uh speaking of fighting, um the Roadhouse movie came out on Amazon Prime. Uh was that last week or the week before, uh with Jake Gyllenhaal starring as well. Was his name Dalton in this one, or was it a different name? I don't even remember. No, he was Dalton. Was it Dalton? Okay. Yeah, he was Dalton. Um, uh, let's see. I think I have to rate this in several different ways. So, for the nostalgia value, I'm going to give it like a 5 out of 10. I thought they did an okay job. With it wasn't like the original. Some small things, like putting the band behind the cage. Okay, I loved that. that. I, enjoyed, I enjoyed that the bar was the roadhouse. Um, called the roadhouse? You liked that it was called the roadhouse? Yeah. See, I, I see that was the reason I took oh, the point off. It should have been called the double deuce. I was about to say, I, I thought the original one was the roadhouse. I forgot it's no, the double deuce. The double deuce. That bothered no. me. I um, like the music in this movie, though. I liked all them little covers and them little bands they yeah, had. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, they were weird well, looking I'll bands be to be playing at a place like that where they'd be throwing beers and still singing. Like most of those bands look like they'd cower in the fucking corner. Yeah, like yeah, those yeah, like they're playing Margaritaville kind of shit <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah, they're not um they're not rowdy bands by any means. But no, um I actually disliked the music because I wanted it more because that was such a big part of Roadhouse the first time around to me was the Jeff Healy band, uh, and that dude, because the blind dude playing the yeah. guitar and all that, like he's, I know he's dead or what, I think he died, but um, I don't know, I felt like I lost a little something there, but the only good part was that they were behind a cage. Um, I felt like it was missing, there was no, we needed a Wade. I, I was waiting for Wade to come out. We I need was a waiting Wade. for it to be like his corner man. <coughs> yes. Or something like that, that yes. just like comes back around like, he didn't have no backup. Yeah. So, oh okay, yeah, if you haven't seen Roadhouse, there might be a couple oh, yeah, spoilers. Spoiler alert. By the way, yeah, yeah. So, but They've I mean, we're not really it. saying for two weeks. We're not really. Yeah, exactly. It's fifty million people have watched it. I think I uh, fifty million views already. It's uh, <laughs> the most watched film debut on Prime I, Video. I mentioned it earlier. I've watched it three times. So okay. So I feel like I wanted to watch it again, and that I usually don't rewatch movies. I'm not a big rewatcher either. Yeah. I enjoyed that, dude. The fight scenes were just great. I loved the new the way the the first person fight scenes were and the way the cameras rolled through, like it made for some awesome, yeah. awesome scenes. Carter McGregor, great. Really good. On all really the good. juice. You put, oh my God, dude. Uh, but his, his walk was so pronounced that oh, he was, was such a perfect villain. He dude. was great. It was really, really good. Um and he's getting dragged too. What do you mean? It, for people his people saying his his acting debut was horrible. Like, what do you expect? No, he played a fighter, that, and it was fucking perfect. He played that character perfectly. Yeah. It was exactly what he was supposed to be. He, uh, did you see that weird interview with him with the spasming and stuff, though? Oh, bro, that's is that not, a, that's is that not, opioids? That's not spasming. That's unfortunately he catch the guy after a three day bender of some cocaine. And you think that's what all those coke? dried out? Mm. Oh, I see. I didn't even think about coke. I just thought it might have been because I saw somebody saying it was opioid gives you stuff like that. But 
No, I played a video I know when, when I, I was on my show. <laughs> I know when I, I know, whoops, I know when I partied, I, that would happen to me. Dude, after three days, that's what it looks like. And imagine all the drinking in the world because that dude is off the rails right now. Even though he's got a fight date, it looks like. Here you go. Here's that. Uh, here's actually the video of that real quick. Stone, the stone team, Garrett Warden and Steve Brown. And they were phenomenal with us. They gave us free reign. And we've done a good job. Yeah, something's weird with the audio right now because even that was echoing. Yeah, um, a bit. That was a shitty uh, version of it, by the way. Couldn't yeah, really see him spaz. Yeah, that wasn't really good enough. But yeah, it goes on and on and on, and he was uh, spasming and not really making any sense. And you sense can tell Jalen Hall's trying to carry him through the interview. <laughs> it was so good. At one point, though, Jake Jalen Hall, just you watch his smile just kind of go, oh, damn it. Oh, boy. He's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> but no, it was. It's it a was, lot of press, man. Connery, Con, fighters like that, like I know Connor's all about the press and everything now. Look. Those guys used to hate the amount of press that they would have to do. And imagine through when, like for a movie like that. Yeah, they you got him. Got Oh my do god, that. it's nonstop. Yeah, he's uh so, and he's a fucking hothead, dumb shit as it is. So who knows what's going to end up happening? Right to, dude, do you know he just lives permanently on his yachts? He's got uh, three I of know. them. I didn't know it was permanently. I knew he was he a yacht been guy. Been on land in like months. Probably because he wants to live in international waters so he can do all kinds of weird fucked up shit, if I had to guess, knowing him. He lives Some Dan his whole family. Dan Bilzerian shit. Oh, there's, well, you can get on, leave them on one yacht and get on the other one. Yeah, he might. He might. <laughs> right. Did you see that story about Dan Bilzerian, by the way? You know who that guy is? Dan yeah, Bilzerian? I used to follow him all the time, dude. He who used doesn't? to have yeah. all the thongs and the, the uh, ladies at his house, bro. The guy that created the Ignite Vapes. Um, that's and that you had all the ignite girls and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I mean, just the guy's surrounded by the hottest Instagram thoughts you've ever seen. Yeah, just. Not I mean, seriously, stop. some of the most beautiful women you'll ever see in yeah, your life. It this guy, like AI. Exactly. Yeah. That's another whole nother story. Those AI girls, Jesus Christ, we're right there, man. Porn's gonna be so awesome in a few and years. I just go. I love going through the comments on these AI girls that post pictures and they're fake women. And oh, the cre- these guys, creepy oh, dudes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I love you, Dropping baby. Dropping their phone numbers and <laughs> shit, dude. Have a, robot. A great, have a great day, beautiful. Like Those, I think, they're the creepiest ones, dude. Like, when they're, like, they, they say something, like, meaningful, like, hope you have a great day. Like, yes. what the fuck? Like, yeah. yeah that's some guy making that. it, you idiot. That's yeah, Aaron, dude, Aaron like, sweet. fucked up. <laughs> By the way, Ari Sweet, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you, why do you make Who these AI... AI stuff of us. I, he oh, he has. He's made a bunch of the stuff that came up in the Discord before. No, I know, but I'm saying stop doing that and start making AI chicks. You can make yeah, become a millionaire you don't think, on you don't Instagram. Think he's doing that and getting what? followers on Twitter already. He's got to be. I don't know. We'll have to see. On X, sorry. It's um. X, anyway, back to Roadhouse. Uh, great movie. Uh, overall, though, I did enjoy it. So it nostalgia, was, you gave it a five out of ten. Five out of ten. Um. As far as just like an entertaining movie, I'll give it. I'll give it like a seven out of ten, seven and a half. Yeah, I mean, it I was, was a great popcorn flick. Yeah, totally. I mean, don't go into it expecting like the you know, it, and you're gonna be let down if you go into it expecting the Patrick Swayze Roadhouse. If you're expecting the Patrick Swayze Dalton, don't you're not gonna like that movie. No, you're the not. Dalton is his mannerisms are a lot different. Totally different, different backstories. Everything is different about him. I mean, he's still got that like sweet little angel side to him and everything like that, where he cares for the townspeople and the innocent. And yeah, like yeah. I mean, that's the. I mean, that's the the crux of the character. I mean, or the. I wish they would have went more into like the UFC shit, like how and why, like really, like, obviously, why, like what caused him to do what he did. I, Thank you. It would have made a lot more sense. That yeah. was one of my problems with the movie. That's was, where was, there should have been like the Wade. The Wade should was, have been the one that like pulled him off. Well, I think back through that. I think they expected it to be some big twist, but it was led up to that, and it was so obvious. Yeah. That it, it that I was like, well, that's what Dalton is. That's the whole point from the first Roadhouse. Is you know, if you've seen the first Roadhouse with the throat thing, that's you know, it was close. Uh, it was close. It was close. They I got. Five, I got my. I'll give that a five out of ten. I got a little. Too. I got a little chubby, uh, because I was the expecting it to happen. It and it oh, was, it was good. Oh, it, it was yeah, good. It was good. But he didn't do the thing we needed to have happen. The thing we needed to have happen didn't happen, because I don't know. Was that movie PG thirteen, or was it R? No, it had to be R. Was it, it R? Just from that one and scene, like that. Maybe even just from that one scene. But yeah, no, I I was a little um. I you gotta have I, I you know spoiler, 
Yeah, you know, there's no the, the throat. The throat he doesn't rip his fucking throat yeah, out. Yeah, no, there's he no, he rip, there's no, no throat Dalton's ripping. got to rip a throat out in, in Roadhouse. I mean, that it's the culminating moment in the movie. It's uh, like it's it's the John Wick with the pencil moment. Like yes! you talk about it and then you never show it. Like it never happened. You got to do it. You got to do it. You yeah, got to you got to rip the throat out. So, but um, I still enjoy that he did lose <laughs> a throat thing. It was and, a good move. It was a cool move. The and like you said, he talked it out. What happened? Your high? I just broke your high point, bro. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Connor I was great I, in it. I loved Connor. I really did. Yeah, and we're not ruining anything for you. It's worth watching. So um, it's it's an action movie where a bartender hires some help. Like what? The, it's exactly what you expect it to. Be. Exactly right. Exactly right. Um, if you're looking for some plot twist, it ain't gonna happen. But I'm going the, back to the movies again, dude. Totally different. Um, what'd you say again? Instead of going back to the movies a bunch, like I got you went to a theater. Yeah, dude. Really? I go with my uncle as a little date every Sunday morning at like ten fifteen. It's like That's five cool. bucks. What uh what'd you see? I've seen Godzilla X Kong. Oh yeah, how was that? Dude, it was so dope. I love those movies. Like it was a monster verse. Like it it's so dope. Like I'm not gonna ruin anything. No, don't but there's cause... there's like all the characters you expect from all the old Godzillas and Kongs. And Did you watch like that. Godzilla one or Zero? I watched this whole Godzilla no, I Zero? haven't seen Godzilla Zero yet. It's only going out on that one streaming service, the Japanese one. Oh, okay. Well, I got because my son saw Crunchy it. Crunchy Roll or some shit like that. I have no. I have I, no idea. Crunchy what... Roll is that what you said? Yeah. Is that the name of a streaming service or so. a type of sushi? Yeah, I think it's the name of a... Shattering me, stereotypes. I'm, I'm just, yeah, dude, I'm <laughs> Jesus. Right but that's what my boy told me. That's it funny is shit. My boy that just got fired for being insensitive too. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Poor guy. That's a crazy story. We'll have yeah, to talk I, about that. I ain't even gonna talk about that. Down the road, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll yeah, let yeah, that yeah, settle for a minute, and then time, that's a crazy it. story. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, so yeah, Godzilla speaking Kong, of stuff, Godzilla Dune, and Kong, Dune, Dune two. I gotta watch those. I watched. Um, Dude, only do it if you're gonna watch them back to back. Like a Friday night, watch Dune one. Then the next day, first thing you go to the theater to watch Dune two. That's cool. You, you I gotta, have to watch them in succession. I got a little crush on Timothy 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 Chalamet, really? so he's so kinda, cute. Kind of start to like the dude. He's so cute. I mean, he was great in Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Yeah. I ended up watching that too. Not a bad movie, huh? It really wasn't whimsical. I'm, I'm such a fucking fan of the original. Right. Did you catch the thing that Blue Wolverine pointed out, by the way? A guy from our chat, Blue Wolverine. Did you catch the what connection between that movie and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, that there, I totally missed? There was these little things. That it was one like, specific thing I missed, though, with the well, coin. With me watching the movie, there was these other things involved. That oh, so you were in and shit. out? <laughs> no, no, they're growing some shit. So, uh, mushroom. Oh, 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 gotcha. There were some fun guys hanging out with me. I understand. Now I'm with you. Okay. Yeah, uh, so I was just kind of more uh, oh, like, well, very psyched about the whimsical nature of the movie and the bright colors. A lot of colors. Like, yeah. The, but the singing and dancing was pretty cool, too, yeah, yeah at that point. Um, all right. Well. But, yeah, well, no, what's the connection piece? The part where, uh, here's a big spoiler if you haven't seen, It's not even a big spoiler. There's a part where he has a coin, um, and he drops this coin into a well or okay. into a sewer and i guess in willy wonka charlie finds this coin and that's the coin he uses he's to it. buy the, the candy coin. bar he found a coin in the drain and that's where he bought the candy bar for him he just opened the first candy bar that's the and connection it wasn't a good one and then he was looking down and he that's the connection guy. i totally missed it i didn't i totally I, missed I that have picked up on it either. yeah so uh but yeah blue wolverine nailed that um, Gabrielle said that she missed that connection too. So yeah, um, Laura's in there. Says lovelies, hello, good to see you guys. What's happening? Scrooge is in there too. Um, what up, Scrooge? What's up? What up, Scrooge? I know you and Scrooge are going to see Kill Tony at Madison Square Gardens, yes, right? When we is that? Are, uh, July. Or July. August? That's awesome. And I know the two of you are actually going to sign up to be in the bucket to get your I names called to go on stage. Up. That's I cool. I am going to sign my ass. Up. That's that's just ballsy, for the bro. The fact that Tony just hates everyone from western new york and we ruin his life <laughs> like he'll never come here to do it you know what, i didn't though? know that i is... think he's coming here i wait, think he's Cleve... gonna be coming wait, to you're... rochester uh, you're buffalo, in cleveland right now buffalo to do the uh fully loaded tour with bert oh okay he's so... doing that at darien lake this year i think i'm gonna go he's doing it here at some field house i just missed him that's how that's what our arena is called downtown the rocket nope, mortgage field house that's not where he's doing it what you gotta have an outdoor stadium that he's doing it at I don't know. We'll look it up either way. 
Um, but so yeah, that's you guys got some balls going to do that. That's pretty cool. August tenth is when Scrooge said you guys are going. I got so. some. I got some wicked jokes written about Good. having a Puerto Rican stepchild. <laughs> I don't know how well it's gonna go over, but I'm gonna try. Awesome, good. I'm glad they love that kind. Of, they love any kind of stereotypical. And, it, and it's got to be uh, Rochester. It would so. be Rochester humor if there wasn't fentanyl or heroin humor. Of course, of course. Yeah. So I have to fit the bill. Well, it's got to be real too. It's got to be legit and realistic and all that stuff too. For sure. Yeah. So all right, uh, Michael K is calling in, Mikey. Let me see if we can take a call without uh, without it breaking everything. I don't know. Again, I don't know what's going on with this echo. Um, Michael K, you're on another dumb show. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, dumb? How are you doing? Chilling like a villain, bro. Good. Hope you had a good time with your uh, kids over the past weekend or the week or whatever. And uh, I'm nice. just going to say, hey, Mikey. What's up, buddy? I like to hear you back. It's fun. I like it. Hope you guys have a good time tonight. And uh, hope to hear more from you, my friend. So yeah, I should be I around a little bit more now. I'm not as committed to being on call for work anymore and not doing a lot of extra things for my job right now. So there's a little bit more free right. time in the schedule. Like I've been back on movies and shows. Like I'm in the middle of watching Oz right now. I'm hooked so bad. Oz? Yeah, you never watched it. It's oh, like, I watched it. I know Oz. It's the most fucked up TV show I've ever seen. It's dude. great. It's great. Michael hung up. Um, oh, sorry, Michael. I do love to hear from you, dude. Thanks for calling. It's but, okay. Yeah, bro, no, Oz is great, man. Dude, it's brutal. It's the most Dude, brutal show on. Teacher just took a shit on Chillinger's face. Oh really? <laughs> oh wow, you're a deep end. So he already scratch his eyeballs out with the nails. No, no. Did oh shit! What? No, I, I know I had a BC scratch okay. his eyeballs out with nails. I've seen that part. Like, like my father used to show me like these scenes. When, I was like, <laughs> old. when did it come out? It was 97, 98. So I was 10 and 11 years old, and my father would be like, "Yo, come look up. Look, look at this. this! Oh my god, that show was crazy, dude. Stabler, the guy from SVU, getting raped in the fucking bathroom. Dude, uh, it, there crazy. are so many celebrities that got their yeah. pop after that show. Yeah, it was, dude. That was one of the best shows. So I many guys from The Wire, The Sopranos, uh, so I much mean, HBO program. That Schillinger, dude. I mean, that was uh, what's his name in um, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, J.K. Simmons, one just one of the best actors ever. And that character, he plays the meanest, most sadistic, evil fucking guy. I mean, just so good at it too. Oh, like, dude, he was breaks crazy. Beecher. Oh, yeah. He breaks that, Oh, dude. it's so good. I've just started season two. It was after, like, the riot and everything like that. Oh, dude. And, good oh, show. dude. I haven't seen it in forever, so, I mean, that's one. That, I don't know if I want to go back and watch it. I don't know. It's pretty pretty troubling show, to be honest with you. One See, was I good, one was good for me. Right now. <laughs> you know what's good, though? Nice little fun movie to kind of kill some uh, energy. A- Equalizer 3. You like Enjoyed the Equalizer it. movies? I Enjoyed love those it. Movies. Black John Wick. Gotta love it. Love him. I love him. He's great. It was in it. That one in particular was in Italy. So it was just, I love Italy. It has such so a John Wood feel to it. I love any movie yeah. like that. That's constant action and everything like that. Yeah, I lo- and I love the, you know, the watch and all that stuff. Uh, very, very good stuff. So um, I just rewatched The Accountant. I saw that on Netflix. I, I've already watched that like 5,000 times. So Dude, I that's a movie I think I can just keep rewatching and rewatching. Um, and the fact that they're going to let. Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck, come back as a play an autism guy again. Like it's gonna be a sequel. <laughs> oh, are they doing that? Yeah. In this day and age. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, secret ad, secret ads mod oh, is shit. calling in. She's this speech zapper, man. What's up, dude? Hey guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Chilling. Sorry, I never told you I was coming. No, no, it's okay. No, I was actually calling to say hi to you and say thank you for hanging out with him because he's had it rough over the last few months with um, Keely being in the hospital, his mom's issues, and now his dad. Like, you know how he gets that. I'm so glad that someone's there to hang out with him. No, it's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. I didn't even know all that was going on. I'm hoping everything's going to get better coming up. Then. Oh, it's been nuts. It's been my... That's my, wild, dude. My mom was in the... Everybody I know has been in the hospital, and they all had ulcers. Oh God! I'm like the common denominator here. It's uh, your it's ulcer good. hasn't sprung a leak yet. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm causing ulcers. I think. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's what kids. That's what we do. Yeah, I also wanted to say I have a little bit of a stomach ache today. Not blaming anybody. I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> well, we're back live. No, but there you guys you have a great so. time tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great time tonight, guys. Bye. Bye. Man, I don't know why it's echoing. It is. It is the strangest thing. It's the strangest thing because 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't figure out why it's doing that. It's a, that's a new problem that I'm dealing with that I don't understand why it's happening. But hey, either way, not the end of the world. Uh, Mr. Jones, neighbor Dave, I believe, is saying, uh, don't Mikey know this is Brownstown wearing that Viking shit? Watch your back. <laughs> uh, don't be a hater. My team's probably going to suck next year. We're going to lose <laughs> Justin Jefferson. We're going to trade up for some idiot quarterback. It's going to be horrible. Uh, yeah, Phil, I saw... Um, I, I'm actually we trade a little up bit... to three and draft Drake May. I'm going to be very upset. Uh, if you guys do that, you're not going to be... I don't want J.J. McCarthy either. Like, I don't know. I, I would just be... I, I always like getting new blood. Even like, you, like I don't, you We've know what I mean? We've never had like, new blood. We're, Minnesota is like a perennial team of taking yesterday's tomatoes for a quarterback. <laughs> like, wait, think about all of our first round quarterbacks. That, there's been three of them in my lifetime. Teddy Bridgewater, only one to make a Pro Bowl. And he was a fluke, flash in the pan. Right. Blew up his knee. Christian Ponder, who, who? made me want to commit suicide for a bunch of years of my life. Yeah. And then Tavares Jackson. So yeah, that was all three just absolutely suck. Terrible. So yeah, there's really not much that you guys are gonna. Um, but uh, no, going back to what you're saying though, I actually like getting new stuff. Like it's like a new shiny toy. You know what I mean? Even yeah. if it ends up sucking, it's a new shiny toy yeah. at first. You want it to work out, obviously. But Sam Darnold is not a new shiny. Even no. though, dude, he's only 26. Did you know that? Really? Only 20? Jeez, that's crazy. He's bounced around, huh? He's been on like four yeah. or five different teams. Yeah. That's the only crazy. reason he lost his job in Carolina is because he sprained his ankle. That job was his until Baker came in, but then yeah. he had the high ankle sprain. He would have started there, and then he ended up getting traded. He got the sip on Shanahan and Brock Purdy for a year. So who knows? The dude might be the next Geno Smith or, or Baker Mayfield. That'd be pretty cool. Comeback player of the year kind of stuff. That'd be good. You guys had... Uh, Maybe not with Aaron Jones in the backfield now. Justin Jefferson, Jordan yeah. Addison, TJ Hawkinson. You guys do... Is a, How's Hawkinson's He's rehab got the going? He's update. He's he doing got, well. Good? All right. Yeah, yeah, he, everything's going according to plan. There's been no setbacks or anything like that. We had that same problem with, uh, obviously, with Nick Chubb. And there's been... A, we went out and signed two pretty decent running backs. Um, Dude, how's Chubb ever come back? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he does. But we got we got Naeem Hines and it just I literally just slipped my mind who the other running back is that we got. Um, sign running back. Brown sign running back. Who is the other one, guys? Son Naeem Hines. Oh, Dante Foreman. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's decent. He's a good. He's that's a, a touchdown scorer. He's a rumbling, tumbling young man. Yeah, he's good. That's a guy who puts the ball across the goal line yeah. and you get him down there. So I like that signing. Um, but we will see what happens uh, with Nick Chubb. I I don't. They they, they kind of have. Like, they all said. All I can see is that still picture. All, it's all I can see when I close my eyes. Is that still like? Is it like bent the wrong way? Yeah, dude, just a ninety degree angle like that. Yeah. Just, yeah, fuck you. Uh, what's this, Minka? Was that Minka Fitzpatrick that did that? Fucking fuck face. Hey, just think, though. Those ankles <laughs> are still legal. I know, but the hip drop You can't do a gone. hip drop. You could still fucking submarine that, his knees in the open field. Do you know how many drives are going to stay alive because of that fucking hip drop bullshit? Dude, what about the challengeable penalties now? Oh, did they make ch- penalties? I missed they, that? There's a change to the challenge rule. You can, you can challenge see, certain penalties? I believe so. Wow, I didn't know that. That's pretty crazy. Hang on. Challenge rule change. Well, I don't know. I know the kickoff change is weird. Uh, They did that whole kickoff thing where they're going to be doing the XFL or AFL kickoff thing. Did you see that where they're going to have them? I like that little kickoff deal. Line, uh, it's got to be better than what they're doing now, or it's yeah. just nothing. So hopefully we'll actually get some returns. That might be interesting. Might yeah, kind of change know. the game a little bit. It might I wish be fun. Minnesota would have thought about it, and Pittsburgh was the smart team to go out there and sign the best kick return and ever do it for Daryl Patterson. Yeah, they were, they actually, somebody was smart and went, Pittsburgh, boy, I tell you what, Russell they t- Wilson, they tooled up. Justin Fields. They got Justin Fields for fucking used it's fucking crazy. wash machine. When uh, look at the AFC North, we got uh, four black starting quarterbacks. I know, first time ever, it's got to be. Well, Joe Burrow's not actually black; he just pretends he is. <laughs> he just acts like he is. Um, he's adopted but, by the community. Yeah, I mean him he's and Kid Cudi. Yeah, he got Kid Cudi gave him a card. So, um, but yeah, no, I'm uh, pretty excited. Uh, what is this reading? Oh, Boomer says he wishes that we would have kept Hunt. 
Uh, you know, I loved Kareem Hunt too. I wish we would have kept them, dude. I don't Who, think Creamy. He got, yeah, Kareem Hunt. I just don't think he got along with the organization very well. I don't think. I don't think where they is thought he, still he in New Orleans again. I don't know where he. Where's the free agent? I have no yeah, idea. But Delvin Cook's still a free agent. I was sure that we were going to sign him. I can't believe Raven, Ravens didn't sign him. There must be he must be fumbling the ball left and right. I don't practice. know what that was going on. I mean, he got no carries with the Jets last year, and now he might go back to the Cowboys because Mike Zimmer's back with the Cowboys coaching that defense. He just brought Eric Hendricks. You see, Eric Hendricks. Signed with the Niners or committed to the Niners. I don't think I even know bailed. who Eric Hendricks is. Eric Hendricks, he's a outside linebacker. And what, he signed and then bailed? He committed to the Niners, and then Mike Zimmer called him up, and he's like, oh, I'm going to go back and play for my old defensive coordinator in Dallas and flip the script last minute. Oh, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Well, <laughs> Dallas has got to do something because they're... They're the only team that only has changed one roster change. That's they've it? added one player since the end of last season. Are you serious? Yeah. That's all they've done? That guy? One move. Wow. Everybody else is gone. Well, so Gallup's gone. Pollard's gone. Gallup sucked. Pollard was mid to average. He's going to well average. Tennessee. Yeah, we'll Derek see in their Henry offense. Yeah, in that offense. Baltimore yeah. is scary. Dude, yeah. I, oh, my son, who Shay, who loves the Ravens, is he's like, so what do you think about the uh, Ravens getting uh, Henry? It's, it's going to be pretty bad for the uh, Browns, huh? And it's I was like, code. yeah, they're already the best running team in the fucking league, yeah. and now they got the King. And he goes, yeah, the King, yeah. He goes, and then I'm like, I'm watching the fucking Browns, and we got, you know, well, I'm happy that we got Foreman and Hines or whatever because we needed running backs. But I mean, and then what do you think about Jerry Judy? The Browns getting Jerry Judy. I like Jerry Judy. He was giving I, a fair shake there, even though I think Cortland Sutton's still better. Um, did you see Mark Schlereth came out and was dogging him after he got paid? Stink. You know who Mark Schlereth yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Center, famous Bron- Broncos yeah, he center. Was, he, he what? He went after Judy? Yeah. He, oh, because Judy signed an extension with you guys, a big one. Yeah, he signed that extension, and he put something up about got that bag or whatever, and uh, Schlereth replied back, um, the only thing I'll remember about your time here is drop passes, or or he put oh. up a, a a gif or a gif or whatever of a He's guy dropping a pass. He's a lot of people the wrong way. Remember when he had a beef with Steve Smith on the sideline? Who Jerry Judy? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. It was before one game or something like that, and Steve Smith was like, "I tried to talk to that young man. He was disrespectful." And... Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Now, okay, I definitely remember. I that love now. Steve yeah. Smith on the sideline, man. That guy's great. That guy's a, this is a no nonsense motherfucker, King, man. King shit talker. Yeah. Irish Ronnie said, I thought football season was over. Nope. We we haven't had a chance to talk since free agent frenzy, and now uh, it's it's the right back around the corner, baby. A whole new look NFL. Yeah. A whole new world. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Oh, I'm looking dude. forward to it. Uh, Can't it wait makes, for Kirk to rip his Achilles. Makes me want, ma- want to get mad. And <laughs> I know. I might get mad in this year just so I can kill Kirk Cousins because I can't wait, by the way. Yeah. I already picked my Minnesota Vikings game. Atlanta is coming to Minnesota. Oh, oh, really? So you're going to yeah, that game? Yeah, I'm about to be part of them boo birds. Boo bird. <laughs> you don't think they're gonna? You don't think they'll give him love? You think they're gonna boo him? Fuck no! For leaving the way he did? Are you kidding me? The only difference in the contract was we wouldn't offer him guaranteed money his first year back from the torn Achilles. Yeah, well, probably smart to me. He's um, making ninety eight million dollars guaranteed <laughs> this year. Fifty million dollars signing, forty eight million guaranteed. Yeah, I think he knows what he knows. His agent is the greatest. I mean, he's just the best. Oh, he is. <laughs> I can't hate the. I can't hate the dude. But he ain't worth that much money. Right on. Um, hey, real quick. Um, did you watch the Nickelodeon thing, bro? Mr. Dude. Pickle never came. Wow. I never picked up on that. I the whole thing. The whole thing was crazy. Now in my childhood, I, I came in. Night. I watched it for four hours, and it just makes me want to puke every time I think about my childhood. Now, I was just a little bit too old for that generation of Nick. I was in the you can't do that on TV generation of Nick with this, you know, double dare. Oh, salute your shorts, double dare. You salute know your shorts was... was even a little after me. Like, I just kind of started getting out right when, like, salute your shorts the came around. Show and stuff like that. I remember the Temple show. I loved that. I was still, like, right at the edge of getting a little older. I was, I I was a little too old for this generation of the Nickelodeon, but just to know that... This I, was happening for this generation. Well, my li- that it was happening in the generation that I was watching. My little well. sister was watched all that shit though, because she's like nine years younger than me. Yep. So I would see it all the time. So I knew who all like you know, all these different art like Ariana Grande and all those different shows and everything. I I knew all those fucking shows. So, 
But dude, like, how about that thing that they had Ariana Grande doing on the bed with the fucking potato squeezing and the squeezing water, the water on dude, it? That like, was wild, dude. I was really I, uncomfortable watching that. It was crazy. And how about Paris Hilton? Or oh wait, I'm mixing up my documentaries. Never mind, not Paris Hilton. Um, Paris Hilton was in a different documentary that I saw. That if you haven't watched that, you got to watch it about the the kids at the school, the reform school, the I reform feel, or the the yeah, it's called the program. It's about these girls and boys that get locked up in these like. Oh yeah, it's like and they a, was hitting the floor with the towels and shit. Yes. Yeah, I watched that, that one already. Crazy. Yeah, that was that wild was too. Crazy too. Did like, you watch the octopus murders yet? No, that's the other one I gotta watch because I just sure. saw a news story about ah. that, so I gotta watch that one too. But Arena, why are you getting all worked up there, puppy? It's because they stopped petting. You little rat dog. Um, Come here. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, that Nickelodeon <laughs> thing was. Hey, babe. Rini, we're almost done. We're going to wrap up in a couple minutes anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's just after eight, so we got plenty of time. Um, all right, settle down. Thank you, puppy. I can't believe we're going to drive yeah. all the way home tonight. I, you're, dude, that's why I, you got some. Uh, that's some dedication to your your passion of stand up to just literally <laughs> pick her up, just throw her on your lap. That'll chill her out. And then Mikey, pick you up. I'm not just gonna play with you. Go see Miki. Go on. Go on. Go cl- let him pick you up. Come on. Nothing. Anyway. All right. Well, anyway, Darla seems to uh, be telling us that it's time to wrap this up. Uh, anyway, watch that Nickelodeon thing. If you guys haven't watched that yet, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, that was wild. Uh, the things that that guy was up to, that Dan Schneider guy, and then uh, poor Drake Bell. Uh, everything oh, that kid yeah. went through, and the fucking foreign objects, yeah, and. Deep. Yo, man, he was there. Well, I can you can only imagine what that guy was using on him with the way he says yeah. foreign objects and shit, dude. It was fucking Horrible. brutal. <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy, crazy, um, crazy documentary. I highly recommend watching that yeah, you if you want to lose a little faith in humanity after watching that one. I also watched the Jared Cole one, and that one was really good. Darla, stop. She's really far away, too. It's I don't like understand. I don't know what her up. come here, puppy. Is it because I'm in her way of able to get out of the couch? I don't know what her problem is. Come here, baby. Come here. I'll pick you up and come here with daddy. Come here. Oh, there, say hi there, to my the girl. Chat. there, my girl. You can come say hi there to everybody. Who is it, Walker? There she is. Crazy little puppy. Um, all right. So uh, we do probably need to wrap this up anyway so we can get ready to go here. So, um, uh, Mikey, glad it. What the fuck just happened? Oh, that's my thing. Glad to have you in town, dude. It's yeah, good dude, to see it's you. Fun to do this. I can't believe you got to go uh, all the way back home tonight, uh, right after the show. So you're gonna get home at like five o'clock in the morning, sleep for a couple hours, and go to work. Yeah, I'll. Pro- to be honest with you, I'm already looking forward to getting home at like five o'clock in the morning and watching Oz for like three hours. And just staying up and then yeah, just pulling yeah. an all nighter. Yeah, I'll yeah. Just, I'll make sure I get uh, some bang energies or something. I have a, <laughs> a, a rehab in the car. There you go. You'll be fine. Yeah, be. Uh, I took a good twenty five minute nap before I got on the road today too. I got home from that little class. I ate a little lunch and I passed out for like twenty five minutes. Power nap always does a little. Nap. Have you had those Celsiuses? The fucking awesome. Yeah, those are awesome. B one's into like those. Trying more. I pick Logan Paul over Jake Paul. I don't think I've tried one of those. Oh, is that a? Are those? Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop yeah. stepping on the keyboard. Yeah, puppy. Celsius is sponsored by Jake, and Prime is Logan. Oh really? Yeah. Are they just spokesperson for him, or are they like that's oh, their well, they own them? Jake or is the spokesperson for Celsius. Celsius and Logan is the legitimate owner of Prime. That's what. Okay, that's what I knew. All right, gotcha. But Celsius are delicious. So They're many really more good. flavors, and every flavor is just bad. that orange is man. That orange is yep. really good. I love that shit. So, all right. Well, well, let's get out of here. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up so we don't have to uh, rush around before we get down there. I'd like to get down there and have. Uh, a bunch of uh, rushing. I hate rushing. I want to get there chill mode. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Get another beer down, a couple bleezies, uh, and we will call it a night. So, uh, guys, uh, thanks, everybody, for your patience with the delay and, uh, or excuse me, all the time off. Well, dude, you obviously <coughs> had some shit going on. <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, you know what? It was really just uh, spending time with the boys. Uh, I didn't have the computer the whole time, and then once I got it back, the boys were here at that point, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to... It's Easter week. Half the people are on spring break anyway yeah. and doing stuff with their families and stuff. So I nice said, screw break. it. Yeah, it was good. It was much needed on my end too. So um, so guys, that's going to wrap things up for us tonight here on Another Dumb Show. I appreciate everybody uh, watching this evening. 
Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up on tonight's video. If you've not already done that, please take a second and hit the thumbs up on tonight's video. Uh, I am, depending on how crazy it gets tonight, aiming to be back live tomorrow at 7 with the main show. Uh, I obviously I'll be door dashing and all that good stuff. So, uh, But I do aim to be back live with a show for you guys tomorrow at 7. Barring any more crazy family emergencies that come if, up over if i'm still awake then i'll join too sounds good i imagine you're probably gonna be pretty tired but if you're around you know you always got a, the, the the links there yeah. <laughs> so. i'll probably join i'll just keep drinking fucking caffeine perfect all right sounds good to me all right guys that's gonna wrap things up for us tonight i am out of here we are out of here see ya oh yeah man